Hello fellow duelists, this is Shadow of the Moon, and today I'm actually going to be doing an updated deck profile of my Red Eyes Black Dragon deck for April of 2023. So, I spent months formulating and trying to calculate the best strategy for this deck, um, and trying to figure out, you know, because at first I was originally going to put the Cash Tira engine in there, and I was getting the cards ready and getting prepared, and then I just realized that a lot of the cards are just really expensive right now because they're just, that's what's popular, that's what's in. And I really did try to cut out some of the cards if I was able to, but in order for you to actually play with the deck, you have to be able to own everything uh, to a certain amount, and I only had a few of it. I mean, I had the Link, or the Exceed Monster, I had Rise Heart, I had, you know, some of the other Cash Tier cards, but all in all, it just was too expensive, and I wanted to try to make this still a little bit more of a budget-friendly deck. I mean, Red Eyes is not going to be budget-friendly um, unless you're literally just going for a pure red eyes deck um because red eyes doesn't really get that much support but we did get a new support in the new photon hypernova in the form of or maze of memory sorry in maze of memories with the new support of red eyes soul so i am going to be explaining that and then i'm also going to be doing a two card combo with this video during this week as well so look forward to look uh on the look be on the lookout for that so without any further ado let's go ahead and dive straight on into the deck profile so not a whole lot is going to have changed a little bit but it is still pretty good it's still good i love i still love the strategy of it so you've got three copies of red eyes black dragon obviously this is your main card in the deck uh, you're going to be using this multiple times because you're also going to be playing Dark Magician because we do play Dragoon in this deck. Dragoon is in the deck. If you don't want to use Dragoon, you don't have to. Um, Dragoon isn't too expensive now, but if you're still not able to afford it, you can just focus on like Red Eyes Slash Dragon or you can focus on another one of the Red Eyes archetypes. Then we have one copy of the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. This is going to allow you to special summon... the. Uh, black metal dragon repeatedly and everything like you're going to activate the whole f focus of the deck is to special summon of black metal dragon and then put it into the graveyard to be able to keep searching and keep digging your deck for those red eyes cards because that is the main thing that you want you want to be able to keep digging for those red eyes cards add them to your hand because it keeps the combo going and then since we do have the new red eye soul we can add two copies of red eyes alternative black dragon which acts as a red eyes black dragon all you have to do is tribute a red eyes monster from your side of the field or in your hand to special summon this card from your hand and it's a very very actually very good card in my opinion and then for the last red eyes we have our red eyes flare met or flare dragon so you're going to be using this in conjunction with the other red eyes cards because it does count since it's a gemini it does count as a normal monster before you activate its effect and then we've got red eyes red eyes black red eyes or sorry malefic red eyes black dragon which is if you control a field spell you can banish a red eyes monster from your deck to special summon this card but if you don't have a field spell obviously it's not going to be on the field but it still counts as a red eyes monster it is a level seven and the object of this deck is to turb out as many level sevens as possible so we can go into all three copies of our red eyes uh flare metal dragon all right so now we have the new copy of the red eyes soul so Red Eye Soul is a very unique card because it is kind of like a hand trap for Red Eyes. It's their own specific hand trap. And if your opponent special summons a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. It has a quick effect. And also, you can tribute uh, a Red Eyes. You can tribute this card or a Red Eyes monster to do direct damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. So obviously, you're going to do 900 with him. But if you have like a Red Eyes Black Dragon, you're going to do 2400. And that is deadly with this deck because this provides even more burn damage. This deck has become even more burn heavy than it has before because of red eye soul so it is a very good tech card very good card to add on the deck um if you want to go for that route you can go for a burn this is pretty much what this deck is it's more of a burn dragon link and it works in my opinion and then obviously the mvp i wish i could get the ultra rare versions of them they're so expensive right now you have your copies of black metal dragon black metal dragon is the card that's going to keep going and make you making all your combos work because every single time it's sent to the graveyard it is not once per turn you can add a red eyes card from your deck to your hand let it be a spell trap or monster so you're going to be constantly digging into your deck to be able to getting those red eyes cards to set up for your combo and then we just knocked down the rocket package to two you get your tracer and your recharger these are mainly in here for borderload savage dragon because you do need the omni negate obviously and also it is a level four so you can also go into queen dragoon and allow you to um go and add another level seven card from your deck or special summon another red eyes monster so you can have another body on board but mainly this is what the deck is in here keep in mind it does lock you into dark types with rocket but everything in this deck other than dragon of the heavenly spears is a dark type so and then we have the Bestial package. We've got two Magna Hut, one Lebellion, 
two Druid Sworn, and then one Bestial Sonier. This is pretty much the Bestial package for now. Um, I'm just using it because this is what's going to help you a lot of search for your deck. They are dark types. You can use this in conjunction with um, Meteor Black Dra Comet Dragon if you do. This is also a great hand trap. So it does count towards your hand trap count, in my opinion, because you're going to be using this to either banish your opponent's dark monster or banish your dark monster to special summon it. Labellion will allow you to search and add a spell from your deck to your hand and whatever, and then like you can special summon this, and you'll be able to have that like lock on the field to where if your opponent activates, you know, something that you can banish the card, and it really does help. I mean, this is an amazing card. All this right here. That's why I always try to use the package in there because you do do need some protection with your red eyes deck. Um, if you cannot afford these, you can put um more level 7 cards in here. You can put Noctovision Dragon. You can put uh, Blackstone of Legend. I know some players do Blackstone of Legend. You can do that. You can. There's many other options that you can go through. And then we have two copies of Noctovision Dragon. If you have a... If you special summon a Dark Dragon type monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And it does count towards a level 7. And then you've got your one copy of your Tempest. Tempest is great because when it's in the graveyard, you just banish two dragon type monsters to be able to, or two one types, but you're banishing dragons with this deck to special summon this from the graveyard. All right, so that's going to be it for the monsters. Now let's move on to the spells. We've got three quick launches. This is going to special summon your Rocket Tracer, which conjunction will help you special summon your Rocket Recharger to go into your either your rank four or your Borderlord Savage Dragon. One copy of your Red Eyes Insight. Um, I still only think that it's appropriate to play one Red Eyes Insight in this deck because Red Eyes Insight... It's a good card, but you have to discard a card uh, or uh, send a red-eyes deck monster from your deck to the graveyard. And it kind of messes up the flow because you're more focused on just using this. Um, you want to be able just to probably use one because you don't want to have too many red-eyes cards. Because ironically, you don't want to see them all in your hand at once. You mainly want to see Quick Launch and you want to see Black Metal Dragon uh, because those are the two combo starters. And then we have one copy of... Oh, dropping it. One copy of your Red Eyes Fusion. This goes into Dragoon or goes into your Meteor Black Comet Dragon. And then you got Lore of Darkness. This is the poor man's version of Pot of Prosperity. A Lore of Darkness is great because you draw two and then you banish a dark monster. And then we have for the Field Spell Quick Launch, which is mainly in here for the discard effect. Do you have to have something to discard? And then you've got uh, Dr Dragon Ravine, which is, allows you to discard a card to send a drag send a card monster from your deck to the graveyard. And then we've got one one for one. Obviously, this is to special summon your Black Metal Dragon out. And then you've got your Branded Regain. Branded Regain works with your uh, Bistial Monsters. So this is actually a very important card because this allows you to go even further into your plays. Because it allows you to banish a Light or Dark Monster to special summon. And then that's it for the spells. Then we're going to have two traps. You've got your Red Eyes Fang with Chain, which is still a great card in my opinion. Um, and then you have your Branded Beast which is actually acts as a kind of like uh, interrupt. And that's going to be it for the main deck. Let's move on to the extra deck. So first we've got one copy of your Media Black Comet Dragon. You sent, obviously, you send a Red Eyes card from your deck to the graveyard to be able to do damage equal to their uh, attack, but just have it. So if you send a 2400, it does 1200, vice versa. And very easy to get out in this deck. And then you have your Dragoon. Obviously, you're going to have Dragoon in here for your Omni Negate, as well as your Borlode Savage Dragon, because Borlode Savage Dragon does help towards the Omni Negate. All right, and then you're going to have your Triple, which is the bread and butter of the deck. Triple Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. This card cannot be, this card cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. And every single time your opponent so much as breathes or does anything, they lose 500. Now, what makes that deadly is that if you've already done even a little bit of burn damage in your uh, beginning first turn. It doesn't matter because this card will do 500 per effect. So if you've got all three of these on the field, that's 1,500 per card effect, meaning your opponent literally only has six moves to do before they run out of life points. And it's just, it's funny to watch them scramble because they're like, oh, I can't do this. And they end up playing, making really stupid moves. And then you've got Queen Dragoon Jin. This is a great way to be able to add another, especially someone another Red Eyes from the graveyard uh, to count towards your body count to go into more of your plays. Also, during your turn, they have to attack her. Uh, she is the only one that can be attacked um, as long as she's on the field. And then you have your Darkness Metal. This allows you to special summon from your Graveyard or your Banish Zone. So that's actually very helpful. Diligenous Dragon and Quadboral Dragon. If you pop Diligenous Dragon, activates effects. You're allowed to add the two Rocket Tracers and this back to the field. And then you can use those two to go into Queen Dragoon Jin. 
Queen, Queen Dragoon Gen or Borlo Savage Dragon. And this counts as another body for Red Eyes uh, Darkness Metal. And then you have your uh, Dragoonity Knight Romulus. Romulus lets you search for um, Dragon Ravine. And then you've got your Dragon of the Heavenly Spears. Uh, because this will allow you to have an interrupter in your opponent's turn. You tribute this card or a Dragon type monster to bounce a card back. Um, and then you've got Proxy Magician. Now, Proxy Magician is great because Proxy Magician will allow you to uh, fusion summon using two materials on the field without using polymerization. So if this card's on the field like this or whatever, or it's on the field like this, and you've got like a uh, Bestial, and then you've got um, a Red Eyes card, you can use those two to go into Meteor Black Comet Dragon on your first turn. And then you've got Guard Dragon Pisty and Striker Dragon. So Guard Dragon Pisty obviously is here for the effect to bring back uh, your Black Metal Dragon using its effect. And then you've got Striker Dragon, which is going to be the bread and butter of the deck because this will allow you to add Boot Sector Launch from your deck to your hand. And then you're going to be adding with Black Metal Dragon, you're going to be adding Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. So you're going to be, it's it's easy to be able to go into the combos and stuff, but there is a lot of steps. So that's going to be it for this deck profile. I hope you enjoyed it. I know not a whole lot has been changed um, because honestly, I've tried to change some of the stuff in here, but just realized that what I had worked already and it just I didn't want to mess it up because I'm still using the Dragon Link. I know a lot of players have moved on since then, but I personally like the burn strategy of the Red Eyes deck. It's very fun to be able to just keep burning your opponent and just realizing that they only have like six moves if you're able to get all three of them on the field and then before they they end up losing. <laughs> so it's actually kind of funny. And this Red Eyes Soul is a great addition to the a deck um it, unfortunately we don't have the red eyes we don't still don't have like really really good red eyes support but for now this is gonna have to do and i mean i think it works it i wish that it was a little better but then again what are you gonna do all right so that's gonna be it for this deck profile i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and with that i'll see you guys next time later <laughs>